So um, thank you for being here and uh, for sitting already. Um, so my presentation will be a bit about visualization, uh, visualization of data, uh, of MISP, of course. Um, it's sometimes a challenge um, uh, when, you, when you work with a larger subset of data and you want to get something out of it. So this is not about putting data into MISP, it's more like trying to use as a, as a consumer, use, use the data that's over there and try to make sense, try to um, do analysis on it and etc. So um, yeah, this is uh, this is an event from uh, one of the MISPs. Um, um, we see some OSINT information. We see some um, some galaxies. We see some relations and so on. So it's um, it's actually quite interesting. So um, uh, I mentioned the galaxies. There are a lot of uh, uh, extra information in relation to the the attacker, what techniques did they use, what malware family was used, uh, and so on. Um, so, but these galaxies, when you click on them, when you open them, you get a lot of metadata, you get a lot of, uh, of extra information. But how do you look at it? How do you visualize the information? Now, maybe let's go to MISP itself. It will be probably nicer. So when you scroll down, you kind of have a kind of very neat feature here. It's called an event graph, uh, a semi program that. And actually, when people write things quite nicely, you can see all the attributes and, and, and objects relation and the relation between the, uh, the one and the other. Um, when you zoom in, you see that actually this file, this downloads, this exe and this other exe, this is used by the other. So it tells something about the story. When you have a malicious uh, attachment, for example, with an email with a malicious attachment, that attachment drops, th um, drops a file, executes a binary, downloads things from a specific CNC, and so on and so on. So we have all these relationships. And relationship described in a very non... We were talking about user friendliness before, but if you look at the relationships here, you see a reference. Uh, in here, so it's used by object 43016. So that doesn't really make sense. That's great why uh, Semi added uh, kind of a visualization tool on those relations. Now, let's, um, we have here a file. We can expand it. We have some checksums. We have some file names. But what do you want? What, what now? I have this great graph. I'd like to look further on this, on this hash on this checksum. We also mentioned there are some relationships, related events on MISP in, in here. Um, so I'd also like to, to see what about the other, what about the other events? So cool. MISP also provides a correlation graph. Um, so here, let's give it seconds where we see related events. So quite cool. Oh, we see there are different events on this MISP instance. And there are some things. Let's move it around a bit. Um, so let's move it here, move it here. So yeah, I have a, a more or less a, a good view. But if I look at another one, yeah, this is maybe a bit less like, I mean, it's beautiful. It's kind of an art. But I mean, <laughs> I, I'm just a human. I, I, I have like, I can maybe remember or keep like five or six items in my view at once. So I would like to remove maybe most of them. Um, so I only keep those that have a, a value for me. So, this is, this is really one of the great things with MISP, is that MISP knows, or the, the, the software, the project knows, MISP is not the answer. It's a, it's a piece, it's a part in the, in the answer. And that's where our, our, our role is, or we play, is like, we have other tools sometimes, tools that are better for specific things. And um, because of the openness of MISP, which is just like allowing you to put the data in it in an automated fashion, to browse the data through a human interface like a web browser, but you can also access the data through an automated fashion. And that's where we start to put the glue with our favorite tools. Um, I, I, it's uh, Rafio, I don't know where you're sitting, but I love you and I hate you with PyMisp. It's marvelous, but it's evolving so fast. It's uh, sometimes tough to follow. Um, and in this case, uh, in relation to visualization, um, uh, I'm myself, I'm using Meltigo. I don't want to do any commercial advertisement about the tool. It's just a tool I use and I want to glue it with MISP. And so that's what I tried to do. Of course, I wasn't the first, so some people did the work before, but, well, MISP evolves, creates objects, 
relationships, galaxies, and so on. So these were not added. So I, I spent some time to rework it and, and redo it. What about the use cases? Um, let's, let's say you're in your data visualization tool and you want to know, okay, here I have an IP, I have a, a checksum or something. Is it something I already know? That's one of the questions you ask. Um, you can start looking on other data sources, uh, VT or other, but is it something I know? So you would like to know, is it, is it in MISP or not? Um, once, once you know that, you probably want to explore further. We showed a few examples through the MISP web UI um, in exploring the data further, but you want to also do it with your favorite tool. Um, we also mentioned in the web interface, those relationships between the objects, these are really great, but actually it goes even further. There are relationships, and, and the MISP models and the galaxies models, they, they have it. It's not all shown in the interface, but there are relationships between galaxies, between threat, act threat actors and tools. So if you have a tool which is used by a threat actor, actually, if you look at the galaxy, uh, the, 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 the JSON files, so the technical files, you see that there are actually the relationships uh, related as um, this actor uses this tool. Um, um, this actor is similar to the other, other actor because, well, we invented 20 names for the same actors. Um, we have uh, TTPs, we mentioned them a, a bit earlier about attack. Um, those TTPs, they also have a relationship to specific actors and, 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 and campaigns. So there's a lot of relationship and those relationships, they really make sense when you look at it from a visual perspective because we are not really good at visualizing everything in our heads. We, we, we need tools, we need, we need to see it in front of our eyes. So these are a few use cases. So, um, um, just before going into Multigo use, who here has ever used Multigo? Oh, 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 that's okay. Who uses it daily or weekly? Okay, we need to talk because that's one of my final questions is, um, I'm, I'm, I'm not a Multigo expert. I use it now and then. Uh, because I don't have enough time, of course, but I'd love to hear some feedback on use and use cases you have. So these can be added into the, 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 the transforms. So Multigo is kind of a, this visualization tool. You can add uh, entries here. You can add IP addresses, domain names, file names, whatever you want, and just create relationships in the interface. But um, it works with uh, what we call transforms. So you have a certain uh, data. Uh, in here, for example, an IP address, you can either right mouse click or look at your left menu and you can query other data sources, like is this is this known in this data source or not? Uh, here uh, we see a, a virus total, for example, a checksum, of course, you would look into virus total for the, for, uh, for the existence of the checksum. Um, so the, the principle and the concept is the same with MISP. So I mentioned, um, uh, do we want to know if something is in MISP? Let's take these attributes here, or these three. One is a domain name, and those two are IP addresses. Um, I can just query and ask, is, is it in MISP or not? And actually, immediately, we see here the green mark, which indicates that these are in MISP. Um, well, actually, one was automatically expanded. Um, and here, this one doesn't have the marking, so I know this one is not yet in uh, my MISP. Now, if I have this one, but maybe in which MISP event is it? Now, um, I know it's there, but I don't know in which MISP events. Well, I can just ask, and the tool will show me the related uh, or relevant MISP events, which, of course, also has a green marking because it's in MISP. From there, we have, so in MISP, we have the concept of attributes. We have objects, we have object attributes, we have relationships, we have tags, we have galaxies. So just to make everything, um, uh, 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 I would say, uh, easier for the analysts, um, I made transforms for each of the different use cases or, 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 or different needs to expand on specific data. Because if you just expand on everything, It's, it, it becomes a, a, a bit of a mess. So you don't want to do that every time. So that, that's one of the things with, with working with a visualization tool. You will expand the data you have. And you will start selecting the things that are not relevant. And then maybe you throw them away because you want to get it out of your view. Um, so in here, we can choose. I want to expand everything. I want just to look at the objects or not. Let's look at another event in here. I already wrote the number, and we can say, okay, have, let's have a look at the objects that are in this event. So these are all the objects. 
And from these, we can ask, let's, let's show the attributes. Let's give him a few seconds. And in here, we also see the relationship. So this file is used by this one. This one is actually, this one downloads the other. There are a few double arrows because of the way I used it. So we also see all the relationships. And now if I want to uh, maybe delete some data and change the view, I say, actually, I'm not interested in, um, I don't know, uh, in those files and hashes. Let's go back, and it's a bit, a, a bit simplified again. So it's it's something dynamic, but we're using our, our great database, our great MISP, and we use the power of all those relationships. Does that make sense a bit? I don't know. Yeah? Okay, good. Another example, we're, we were talking about MITRE ATT&CK earlier. Uh, uh, Alexandre was mentioning it. There's a lot of work that has been done also integrating in the, into MISP, but also from a kind of a step backwards, like what about the other technologies that could benefit from the same thing? And actually, that's a nice thing because of the way MISP implements things or the MISP project implements things, it's very generic. That means that any tool, any glue you create automatically also benefits from these uh, enhancements. Um, a few months ago, uh, MITRE published a new version of ATT&CK with some extensions, extensions and so on. And these were also, once published on, the, on the, the, the repository, available for any tool, these were also immediately available for the Multigo extension. So in this case, let's say we're looking for um, a galaxy. Um, I created it manually here in the list, but I can, I can drag and drop. In the... Uh, In MITRE ATT&CK, there's kind of a, a, a technique which is called binary padding. Um, so we can actually, we can just type a substring, and we can ask it, and actually, so he shows, actually searching in all the galaxies, he found two, two results, uh, which is one of the course of actions, and the other is the attack pattern. I'm actually not interested in, in those two top ones. And now I want to explore further the attack pattern. So here we actually have different uh, elements. We have intrusion sets, intrusion sets, malwares. Um, we have a um, course of actions again, because these are relationships in relation to this attack pattern. These were all defined by matter, but also imported in the galaxies in those relations. Um, let's say we want to explore uh, external malware. What about the relationships of this one? So here we see that external has different um, attack patterns. So we can start pivoting on it. But we also see in here that external tool, which is another galaxy, is similar to MITER attack uh, external S. And we have the intrusion sets, which also has a relationship because it uses it. So from here, um, we can, for example, choose to delete all those blue ones. Um, help. Because it's not relevant for us. And now we can continue to pivot on these elements. Because this is actually of interest for me. Here we see he grouped a lot of attack patterns. We see the relation to the threat actor sophocy, which indeed is uh, a similar name to APT28, and we can continue uh, there. What we can also do um, is from there, we can query MISP. And of course, this is where the demo gods are annoying. And we can ask, okay, what are the MISP events that are related to this galaxy? This is unfortunately just a test MISP on my local machine. Um, I had some issues with... Uh, the internet connection. Um, so, and from here on, we have, we're pivoting from actors, techniques, and so on, and we're looking at MISP data, which allows us, again, dynamically to visualize and use the data to go further and further.
Yeah, this is another example with a purely minor attack where actually you see relationships thanks to all these relations in, in the galaxy. You hear we have an intrusion set APT32, uh, we have a, a, a malware and we see, now it's grouped so you can't really see it on the text, but it's, it's, it's using similar techniques also with others. So we have the MS3, um, uh, Panda probably, I think. Um, uh, so they, they use common elements. So again, with the visualization of the data, you can see much more than just like reading text on a screen. So um, this is just a, a Multiga transform. Um, it's uh, open source, of course. So the code is on, on, on GitHub. Uh, to install it is relatively simple. I'm just using pip. Um, as I mentioned earlier, if you have feedback and ideas, just uh, feature requests, or if you want to contribute yourself, uh, feel free to submit them. One of the um, other um, Multigo integrations that exist is um, um, Mispigo, I think. Um, that one allows you to edit things from Misp. That's maybe a feature I'd like to, to add in this one too. Um, it's, it's a bit tough because of the Maltigo limitations, but the feedback is really, uh, 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 really welcome. So for me, this really helps me to visualize the data that I have in MISP, but also use the other elements of the galaxies to, to make things, uh, um, better, yeah, easier to understand. So I think that's it. It's not much. It's just a small integration, but I think it shows the power of MISP and the power of integrating things with other tools. So pending any questions. No questions? Okay, thank you very much.